Hey guys and welcome to Notes on Hobbies. Today we are playing Sim Airport. So I just bought this game a while ago and then while I was playing for a few minutes a new update just came out. So I had to quit the game, do the update and now we are here. So let's start a new game. We are going to play in career mode with a medium sized map because there's a sandbox mode career mode and then a medium large and extra large map size at the moment so they said they're going to have random events in the future and an in-game tutorial and also there will be an improved passenger and airline feedback loop um, more advanced features etc etc which are not yet in the game so let's get going all right so when you're going to the airport to fly somewhere else, what happens? Okay, so you go through the airport, you get dropped off, you go through ticketing, check your baggage in, then you go through security, and if you, you really got to go, you can go to the restroom, and you go through security, wait for your plane to be boarded, go through the boarding gate, and then board your plane, and be on your way out. So in this game we have different options here at the bottom, and on the top as well. And by the way, this is Sim Airport Early Access with the update which was done on March 25, 2017 at 3.45am. Alright, let's start with the buttons at the top. We have the menu, new game, save game, load game, preferences, vi video settings, and e exit game. So, first advice, save a lot of copies of your games, okay? And you're going to also access the menu by pressing the escape button as well. You can also load your games, preferences. So we have zoom centering, which means your mouse position, wherever your mouse is that will center on that position or where the camera is at the moment so if it's mouse position, oh it doesn't change actually you can hold the middle mouse button to um, and drag it, drag the mouse to move around we have the zoom speed which you can slow down Ooh, very smooth zoom or you can maximize it in one click you have that and that uh, sorry in one roll of the mouse then we have pan speed as well Ooh, that was quick all right let's get it back into the default position or maybe you can zero it out because it's still quick see that then we have edge hover scrolling which will do that for you and zone overlays meaning you will see what zone it is on the ground game volume crowd volume auto save on every 10 minutes that's the minimum 10 minutes i hope it was five minutes because a lot can happen in five minutes guys all right then we have research and then you can research finance and operations so that costs six thousand dollars which gives you a cfo and allows you to conduct additional research this one gives you a coo and of course it is also a prerequisite for some of the research ahead now this is your bank balance balance and it shows you how much cash you have and you also have flight operations income your staff expense which is deducted from your flight operations income which will give you the total of your income which at the moment we are at the negative then we have passenger satisfaction so it shows you the arrivals departures and current passenger status also airline interest so this is where you talk to the airlines and get contracts to have their planes use your airport and that's where you get your 
income from them the airlines using your airport so for example we have current flight this it's all zero but here in the available flights we have am pm and night so we have two night flights available and we can't accept them yet because we need to upgrade our runway with lights which i will show you later but let's see afford air here we go they have an uh, morning and afternoon and uh, uh, two morning flights and an afternoon flight available which you can accept all three of them but at the moment we'll just move move on and do that later and then we have the sim weather channel current forecast se severe weather alert chance of thunderstorms chance of precipitation and high wind so conditions are worsening i don't know yet the full effect of this on the flights i don't know if it really affects the flights as far as i'm concerned um i i haven't had much of a cancellation maybe it will come on when random events are put into the game i don't know all right and then here you see the day that you're on which is day one because we just started the time of the day it's in 24 hour format and the status of the game if it's paused one time speed two or three times speed oh sorry two or five times speed i got used to priest and architect all right now we have build objects staff zones utilities queues and reports so for building we have all this stuff here objects there's plenty of objects here which you can build later on but we'll go through them as we build them okay then your staff utilities like the conveyor line and the baggage routing station and your queues very important queues to make your airport organized all right so you've gone through drop off ticketing security restroom gate boarding you flew now you you've arrived okay so your plane taxis into the taxi runway goes into an airplane gate you deplane then you claim your baggage at the baggage claim zone and then you are picked up and you go to wherever you want to go okay so let's start operating this airport all right so drop drop-offs are here pickups here deliveries here and the garbage here at the bottom now these three here are your workmen and they are paid fifteen dollars early and they handle all the construction related tasks and I believe this is your janitor so ten dollars early cleans up all the trash in your airport alright so we have the drop-offs here pickups deliveries garbage okay so let's imagine a scenario you're going to fly out of the airport so the first thing we do we get to the drop offs go to the sliding doors and the first thing you do is to check for the desk where your flight is going to be assigned go in the airport go through a flight information board and check where your flight is assigned for check-in so in this game we have a flight info display which is what we'll do rotate objects by play pressing R or pressing your middle mouse button all right so i'm just pressing my middle mouse button right now so i'm just thinking people are going to come into the airport they're going to want to look at where they're going to need to check in let's just place a flight info display here this flight info display is so expensive it's a thousand dollars i believe it can be worth less than that unless it's high tech which i don't believe so all right, so let's just place four of these. Let's make sure that it's facing the right direction. One, two, three, four. Yay, I can count up to four. And now, once you go in, you check which flight you are in. Then you go to your ticketing desk. All right, so there's two ticketing desks here. And you'd normally see in airports, there should there is only one line where you queue up and then goes into separate desks. So what we'll do is we'll put a queue in. So you'll go here, check where you are, and then we'll start the queue. We'll end the queue there. 
So you come in, you check where your desk is, where your flight is assigned for check-in, and then you queue up. If you're looking at it this way, we're going to make a queue, right? So we're gonna start from here after you check, or you can go through here to queue up. So you do this, start queuing up, right? That's wrong, okay? Because this game has been designed to start where the first person should be lining up. But I think it's easier if you started a queue to place the queue from where you enter, not from the, like, you know, not from where it should start. You should make queues from where it should end, going to where it should start. So it's easier for you. But it doesn't work that way. So I'll just remove this queue. And then we'll start from here. And then end it here. Alright? And then after you make a queue, you have to assign it to the desk. Alright? You do this by clicking on the desk and assign to the queue. You can also do which passengers check on that. So like first class only, so you d they won't be complaining. I don't know if they've made the game, if they've configured it into the game that first class passengers have shorter patience when it comes to queuing up. I don't know that. But if it happens, this will be a good option for you to choose. At the moment, I don't believe that it's in the game yet because I've, I've checked on the passengers and it doesn't say which class they're in. If they're first class or economy class. So I'll just put any passengers there and then on the second desk, I'll assign it as well. You go in, you check your flight info, you start your queue. I'm just going to remove this one just so it looks good. And then you start your queue, you line up and then when they call you, you go either uh, you go to the next um, free desk. Okay. Now. After you've checked in, you go into, you're going through security, all right? Unless you want to go to the restroom, <laughs> all right? Um, but before that, I'll just dezone this one because I don't need ticketing to be up to there. All right, so when you through the ticketing, you get your, your boarding pass, you go here and then you go through security. So in security, you also need a queue, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up here. I'm going to have to um, move this stuff here and create a larger space here at the bottom. I'll do that by building a foundation to increase or to build some more space here at the bottom. I know it's going to cost me, but it will be it will be easier for me later on to have a lot of like three security checks you know what i mean like uh one of each i mean three of each and then a security guard in each of them we queue up again for security which i will do by starting here and just doing a snaky sneaky snaky zigzag here when you're starting your or extending your queue again you have to press and hold from the last queuing person there if because if you s like do this it will start another queue all right and when you want to remove queues you start from the last person then you go up all right so let's do this maybe that should be enough all right now you've gone through security you wait for your boarding. So there's this gate agent desk here with the staff behind it. So what we're going to do is we're going to build benches for you to sit on while you wait. But what I'm gonna do first is put a queue in so that I'll know that where I need to be. I'm just confused as how to, I mean, I'm just not decided yet as how I would shape the queue because I want to have the chairs around as well but this is what I'll do just gonna start here five in each line I need some space down there at the bottom so I'll just take this off and then we'll put benches around it just like that 
Okay, uh, or maybe put some space on it as well. And then to keep people happy, we need a drinking machine. So, drink up. We have some entertainment as well. And a garbage bin, don't forget. And some food. Alright. So that's where they're going to buy it. Now, when the time comes, you're going to board your plane. And then you're off, okay? So, when you arrive, you need to claim your baggage. So that's... So we'll need to build a baggage carousel. Okay. And another part of this game, which is not really fixed yet, is that when you, you're going to do some conveyor belts, a conveyor line, which goes underground, so you don't have to worry about all the stuff that's on top of it. And, but anyway, before you do that, before you have the bags sent, because the thing is, what will happen if you did not build a, a baggage claim or a baggage carousel, and... Um, you did not put a conveyor line, a functioning conveyor line with it, and a baggage routing station, and also a a hanger, and also after the hanger you need a baggage car to work with it. So, what will happen if you don't have all those stuff? Is that one of these guys, after you've checked, they've checked in all the bags, one of these guys is gonna bring all the bags through security, through here, through the airplane gate, and put it on the, the airplane itself, alright? That's what's gonna happen, which will take this guy off from ticketing, and the same thing happens when a plane arrives. One of your staff is going to the plane, grab all the baggage, put them here in the baggage claim area. So that's, it's, that's why it's very important to have a baggage carousel a functioning baggage carousel okay and you also need to have a storage shelf by the way it helps with supply management by increasing the capacity of your delivery zone that's only important if you're going to be building or expanding your airport but at the moment we're just starting out so we don't need them okay so first thing I'm going to do before I start all the flights because even if I accept all the flights now the changes are gonna take effect tomorrow, okay? But for the interest of my impatience, I'm just gonna accept a flight. I'm gonna accept a morning and an afternoon flight. So 767 and let me just check. 767 and so two 767s, which would give me two 250 maximum passengers all right now I will need another flight because I need all the money um, let me check for air let me check the schedule so that's a morning flight and an afternoon flight okay we can't have a night flight yet because I don't have lights on the runway yet you know what I think I'll do that because it's very important that you have lights on your runway and you can have night flights that means you've got three options to have flight schedules morning afternoon and night giving you more flexibility and less risks of canceling flights okay or delaying flights so the first thing we'll do is runway lights it's very expensive it costs 25,000 but it's very very useful okay so what you need to do is to line it up with your runway and the lights will be installed by one one of your workers when it's ready. Um, I'm not going to install that one yet because I don't know if it works. I haven't really seen the effect of it on the flights. But anyway, maybe maybe we can build that in the future. So what I'm going to do is going to destroy this ID check stand because I'm going to be moving them, and I'm just going to start playing here. All right, let's um, just for these. I just need five more of these. Guys. I mean, five of these workers. 
so that I can easily finish the construction before the day ends. Oh, oh, that's right. I said, why don't they go through here in this area? Yeah, well, that's because that's a gate over there in that secured area. All right. So now they've increased the area for security. I'm just gonna remove this one because it's not gonna be proportionate. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna have to clear this one here and then zone it as security and then I'll build a floor so that it matches Wow! 2,250! Come on! That's crazy! What's wrong with security? Oh, sorry, yeah, I know what's wrong with security and at the moment you have to sell the supplies. So what do we need for security checks? We're going to need a ID check stand. So for ID check stands, I'm going to make four of them. Okay. So I'm going to need, um, at the moment, I'll just make three, sorry. And then after that, we need a scanning baggage scanner bag scanner so let's do that here here and here and then you need the metal detector now very important about the metal detector is that this one has to face that's what it has to face this way okay so that they will go through All right, now we have that one and that one's is, and that gate is assigned to this airplane gate. Now we need the baggage. Don't forget about the baggage. We need the baggage rotting station, which has to be, I'm thinking, okay, here we go. Which has to be connected to ticketing desk via a conveyor network. A connection to a baggage carousel and at least one functional hanger with a baggage car. You know what? I'm gonna build a functional hanger. So if you want, you can also type here so it's quicker for you to build. And let's build a medium hanger. So we could have three vehicle spots because when I started in my first game I played, I made a small hangar but then when I built the second airplane gate I needed another car so I'll just start with medium at the moment. I know it's expensive but you'll need it. Alright so we have the lights on the runway now. We're going to book that night flight which is a Boeing 707 give us 107 passengers and 195 is 90 I like the 707 so I can have a, a morning sorry there's an afternoon a night and a morning flight three of them so let's start with that one but then I forgot to put the conveyor line all right so here's how you do the conveyor lines you start from your ticketing office for the blue arrows then you drag it towards the blue arrow on your baggage routing station okay for the pink arrow same you start from the pink you end with the pink okay and then that's all underground so you don't have to worry about it Now after I've done all these um, buildings and all these facilities, I'm going to have to fire two of my workers because it's going to be, it's going to start slow from down there, okay? Anyway, I'll just take, take a look, oh, right, there we go, ATMs, when you go to the airport, you need to have cash, so you need to have one for the people arriving and one for the people departing one for the people departing okay so we have some objects here we could check out 
Now all this stuff here, the cafe, cafe, cafe chair, cafe table, cash register, coffee maker, they're all for the um, for the cafe. But at the moment I, uh, I've read it's bugged, so I'm not gonna try with it. Then we can have some decorations, by the way, so that our airport doesn't look dull. We can do alternate ones here. And that's all I'm gonna do because it's expensive at 250. And the next thing we'll do is we'll have another gate agent desk put on put on here because it's gonna be busy. It's it's very important that all your passengers get get on their flights at on time because if a flight is delayed that's gonna affect your balance there you see the total it's 9880 and it's saying here estimate it's only estimated based on all flights being full and zero cancellations zero delays zero missed flights so it's really really important that everything is on time in an airport okay let's speed up a little bit so that we can have all our constructions Done. It really takes time to do the conveyor belts. Like they have to do it one by one. But anyway, they'll finish it. So now, after that, they're gonna put an agent desk here. Then the other staff will go here to man it. And ticketing is there. All right. Uh, what else can we put in? I'm thinking of putting an office in for my CEO and CFO to do some research, but. I'm not sure if I need them at the moment. Oh, look, this is what we need as well. Ticketing kiosks. So people don't have to line up for ticketing. All right, um, I'll place these things here. So after they check their flights, they can come in here and check in. All right, and what else can we buy? Oh, that's it all right so so excited to have our first flight come in at four o'clock is it four o'clock yeah four o'clock the next one's at 12 noon and the last one is at 6 p.m so there's plenty of time in between so there shouldn't be any delay on my in my flights at the moment now once i've got the first day on i'm going to accept more flights and manage them properly Oh, and don't forget, after you put on a desk, you need to assign it to a gate. I will assign it to gate A1. Alright, here comes our first passengers. Through the gate, through the metal detector. Alright, nice and easy. Alright, buying food, sitting and waiting to queue up. Oh, you know what? Oh, where's my staff? Sorry, guys. I can't spend thirty an additional thirty dollars an hour for you. And I will buy a bench. So it's back to back. You know how they are in airports. Oh, people want food. Lots of food. Okay. Let's have more food vending machines here. Yeah, they're not gonna be happy. Uh, passenger satisfaction is just going down. Alright, so our first flight has arrived. It's a Boeing 767 and the flight starts in 82 minutes. That includes Eight minute includes all the people deplaning from there. Oh, what happened to our baggage? Oh, why is this? What's that? Oh, shit, sorry. I need to assign a vehicle. <laughs> and it should be fine. There we go. Whew, that was close. Now the baggage car is gonna get all the baggage. That guy's gonna drop off the baggage on the conveyor line. And there goes the baggage of the passengers. 
onto the baggage conveyor and to the baggage carousel where people are gonna land to take them actually there's no land <laughs> anyway and they're gonna be picked up and once this starts in five minutes so there's 87 people standing in line at the moment once this starts they're gonna start boarding alright 42 minutes left before boarding oh I haven't assigned <laughs> I uh, forgot to assign. Uh, sorry guys. Anyway, there's still 15, 12. Uh, there we go. Right on time. Anyway, my generator is going to clean up all the mess. And I think I'll stop it from there, guys. That's our first basic uh, flight. So people arrive, they deplane. Alright, so I think I'll stop there, guys. That's it. You've seen the basics of a sim airport and on the in our next episode we're gonna go through more more flights so hopefully you like this video if you liked it click the like button below and subscribe for more sim airport thanks for watching see you next time